retrograde and what's the deal what's the deal with mercury retrograde what is the deal with mercury retrograde let's talk about it who's feeling it who's like this stuff? yeah first of all who is feeling mercury retrograde right now who's is who's... anybody experiencing any car accidents <sighs> technological problems injuries Injuries, like clumsy injuries. Setbacks. Any kind of setbacks right now. Um, type it in the chat box, we wanna know. We've got this nice little crystal today too. But just, you know, we're just bringing some new problems in. Let us know, you guys, who's, who's feeling it? Who's feeling it? Type it in, we wanna see what's going on. And I'm gonna share with you while we're waiting on some people to show up today. I'm gonna share with you uh, some of my Mercury retrograde, uh, fun times. So this morning, uh, you know, it's like the little things. This morning I was supposed to be on a, um, a Zoom meeting with, with the company I work for and at 7.30 a.m., it's every Tuesday morning, and, uh, usually I make it, sometimes I'm there like every other week, and I haven't been on in two weeks, so I was like, all right, today I'm getting on. And I go and I click the link and nothing's happening. So I email everybody, I say, what's going on? Where's the meeting? Is there a new link? And, and apparently the link wasn't working for anybody. So they had to send out a new link and the email that got sent out with a new link and it didn't reach me until a half hour after the meeting ended. And so it was like, they, you know, it's just like things like that. This, these are kind of things that stack up during Mercury Retrograde. Other things like maybe your phone or your computer has some sort of weird glitch or a website has some sort of weird glitch where like there's a face stuck up on the oh, screen for a second. Our click funnels. Our click funnels not working right. Is like, there's all kind no, I think it's working now, but there's all kinds of stuff going on, you guys. All kinds of stuff. And it's it's uh to tell you the truth, it's pretty annoying. So um so let's talk about why that is. Why is that? Mm. Well, life can't be all sunshine and rainbows. Sorry. So basically, you know, if you look at the earth, you look at the seasons, the earth, our lives, 
everything has its own mm, process of oh fuck. So with with um oh my god, what am I talking about? Sorry guys. <laughs> you you were saying it so well before we got on the camera. I, I really liked what you were saying. I was, I was like, yeah, let's talk about this. I was because you know what you're talking about. I don't know much about Mercury. Mercury retrograde. retrograde. Okay, so basically. You know, like everything, there, there's a period in life for, for every, every cycle that has this like explosion moment, whether it's um, Saturn return, who's been through their Saturn return? PMS, who's had PMS? <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, Saturn return, PMS, Mer Mercury retrograde, just like like phases of your life where you're like, bah. why is nothing working out for me? Why is everything exploding all at once? So there's these cycles in, in the universe. They're like checks and balances where everything basically like goes, take it back a minute, let's see what the fuck is really going on. And during Mercury retrograde, pretty much everything explodes and it's like, like this massive um, episode of contrast to get you to give you an opportunity to really look at what's going on and what needs to change so for me what happened was i ended up spraining my ac joint because i decided that i would surf every single day for the rest of the year but let's be honest i keep making these really um grandiose goals of doing something every single day for the rest of whatever 2017 for all of 2017 and um Usually instantly, it's like, nope, perfection isn't actually something that you should strive for as a human being. How about I fuck up your shit? So Mercury retrograde is that time for pretty much everybody where the universe goes, how about I fuck up your shit? Oh, we got some got comments. Some. I totally forgot. <sighs> oh, maybe we should pull Ronan on. Yeah. All right, so basically, so. the universe, the stars align and say, how about I fuck up your shit to show you there's something more to you. There's something deeper. There's a power within you that you get the opportunity to pull out when you deal with this shit that is showing up. Let's talk about who are some people that you can think of celebrities or, or people whose stories have become famous for whatever reason. Name some people you can think of that have hit rock bottom before they massively exploded and got huge. Think of some people who felt like they there was literally no other way for them to go. Um, and because they were at rock bottom, because they had no other options, the only, the only way for them to go is to go up and to expand and to and to force like press themselves through that moment and grow and expand as a person so i mean for instance look at jk rowling yeah katie yes. <laughs> so funny you said that at the same time that i said it um and i know there's a delay so it was really weird but look at jk rowling you guys she was a single mom on welfare living in an apartment with no heat and she, in Edinburgh, my favorite city in the world, and she would go to the elephant room every single day, this little Thai cafe um, in downtown Edinburgh on the high street. And she would write Harry Potter <laughs> every day because she couldn't afford to turn on the heat in her apartment. She would bring her baby with her and write it with her baby next to her and just nurse one little drip coffee all day while she's writing Harry Potter. And look at her now, she's one of the richest women in the world. And she's written a series of books and created a series of movies that have uh, shaped an entire generation of people and continue to shape the next generation of people. I mean, she has literally changed the world with what she created. And she was a single mom on welfare, feeling like she was a total failure in life, right? And so if you live your life, if you go through life being like, yeah, it's not great, but it's comfortable, and I know what to expect, and, and I've got a steady paycheck, so here's what happens when I guess it's not terrible. So with Mercury, keep that hand up. Mercury retrograde comes along to say, no! <laughs> yeah, so we're trying again. So this is you 
just moseying along with your nine to five job and your and your car, living in your parents' basement. Like, yeah, it's okay. I get food every day and I sleep at night. Mercury and, retrograde full moon. Yeah. Ah! That's that's Mercury retrograde. So, but you know what? Actually, the way I see it is Mercury retrograde is more of a pink. It's more of a meh. um. Yes. It yeah, it's so, so Mercury retrograde, it, well, yeah, sure, but most of the time it's like, oh, your computer's going to break, or meh, oh, your car will get broken into, or whatever. It, it, it's something that's like, Ever, it's a wake-up call. It's those things that you're not taking care of, showing up and say, I, you're not taking care of me. It's, yeah, it's a wake-up call, but here's the thing. If you ignore the wake-up call every time, and you say, you know what, uh, I'm... Oh, you know what? My life just sucks. I just have bad luck. It's just Mercury retrograde. I just have ADD. I can't get shit done. I, I just, I have this and My I have boyfriend. that and I can't change because My of this. Kids. And you go back to doing the same thing you were doing before, even though the universe is over here trying to be like, excuse me, excuse me, something's got to change. Excuse something's got to change. Guess what? It's going to get worse and worse and worse and worse until... Wake up. Uh, the car is crashed into. Yes, Ronan. Ronan knows what is feeling Mercury retrograde very strongly right now. We know. Ronan, if you want to share more, go ahead. I know you were feeling this. Katie says, yeah, if you ignore the broken leg the first time, the universe will go ahead Whoa. and break your leg again. Word. Like in seven places. Yes. <laughs> that is a personal experience that my sister just shared. And I have to say that, That's yeah, life. watching her go through that was so difficult. And the second time she broke that leg, along with that, she also had to miss our wedding, which really sucked. And she ended up getting a divorce, which was also the best thing for her and the other person. And now they're great friends and co-parents, which is great. But it was like the first time it happened was the first time the universe was trying to get her attention and say, look, all these other things have to change too. And she was like, nope, nope, nope. I'm just going to keep trying to hold it together. Oh. Basically, if you're expecting your life to change, but you are not changing the thought patterning, the energy you run through your blood, the energy you run through your system, if you're not changing who you are and the things about you that are holding you back, Mercury Retrograde will come in and be like, no. It'll be like, Katie's right here. She says, uh, she says, until you fucking lose your house and miss your sister's wedding until you fucking divorce. Yes. So, yeah. we're so for here. her, the divorce was the change that need to ha needed to happen for both her and the other person involved. And like I just said, it was the best thing that either one of them could have done. Um, and, and Ronan says, it's a chance to meet it with your awareness and look deeper into your well of passion and heart. Absolutely. Uh, Danielle says, Mercury retrograde gives me anxiety. Danielle. Wow, that's a chance to look at your anxiety. Danielle, exactly. <laughs> if you're just hopping on and you're just catching up with us, we're, we're talking about why that happens. So, um, so yeah. So basically what happens with Mercury retrograde is the universe makes things worse for you. Thanks, hon. The universe makes things worse for you as an opportunity for you to really look at them, to look at, this is our favorite phrase, to look at what you're pretending not to know. What are so, you pretending not to know, Facebook? So that you can finally own your shit. So you can finally own your so shit. So what are you pretending not to know that has shown up as this Mercury retrograde catastrophe in your life? So let's go with you first. What was what your catastrophe, I honey? What was your catastrophe, and what have you been pretending not to know? Uh, I mean, it was a mini catastrophe. It was me missing my my other jobs meeting this morning, and what what I've been pretending not to know is that I haven't been putting as much energy into that job as I used to because our business is taking off so big, and I've been feeling a lot of guilt over that lately, and feeling like I need to catch up. 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 And I think that was the universe's way of telling me, like, uh, get on all the right, motor, get, off. get on the boat or get off. Exactly. Like, get your fucking shit together, figure it out, um, and make it make it work. 
And, and you know what's funny is that usually I take that hour in the morning from 7.30 to 8.30 to be on the meeting. Um, but what was cool was that because I couldn't get on the meeting, it gave me an opportunity to do all the work I needed to do to catch up for that job. Not all of it, but most of it. I got to answer a bunch of emails. I got to look into a couple different things that I've been meaning to look into for weeks or months now. And, um, and yeah, it gave me an opportunity to actually like really catch up. Um, so it was actually a really good thing and I was able to resolve it right away because I was aware that there was something trying to get my attention. Katie says, Mercury retrograde is the loud skeleton you shoved in your closet who's singing queen at the top of its non-existent lungs. <laughs> yes. Ronan said, oh, that's a great example though. One that I'm in the process of learning. Great, Ronan. Yes. Good, 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 good. So, so the, what's yours, honey? What's your catastrophe? Mine is I decided that I would go surfing every day for the rest of 2017. And on like day three or four, I sprained my shoulder. Fuck. And what I've been pretending not to know is that I think that there's two things. A, perfection. I think that the only way for me to change myself is to dedicate myself every single day in a really drastic way to change. When really, like, I could change myself simply by waking up every morning and meditating for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And actually, what the universe is trying to communicate with me is that if I continue to use my body as a way to get to feeling good, then it's gonna show up to say, you can use your mind to transform yourself, and you don't need your body as a tool to get to where you need to be. Yeah. You know, uh, Joe Dispenza talks a lot, a lot about how your mind, your body becomes your mind uh, because we condition our bodies in this way that, um, you know, you wake up in the morning and what's the first thing you do? A lot of people, the first thing they do is they take a shit. <laughs> so your body leads you to the bathroom to go do that. And then what's next? You, you drag yourself into the kitchen to make some coffee because your body's telling you, you need some coffee right now to get started. You're not gonna be able to do anything until you get some coffee in you. And then what happens? Then your body's saying, okay, now it's time to go do your yoga practice or take your dogs for a walk. So your body leads you to do the next thing. And you know, you move from one urge to the next without being aware or conscious of it. Um, you eventually let your urges and your addictions um, control all of your actions. Um, where, whereas, like, how would it feel if you were able to step back and, and <laughs> look at your actions, your addictions, uh, from kind of like a fly-on-the-wall perspective and get to choose what's the most powerful thing for you to do in that moment? And, and how is that next action serving your life and your vision for your life and where you would be going? So Mercury retrograde is kind of like, it's like that opportunity. It's like, take a step back, take a look at, at everything that's going on, and you get to choose. Choose. And I think a, a bigger thing too was, was um, I think the universe was trying to say, you don't need to rely on something else or someone else to choose to feel better. No surfing, no people, no, no things that happen. Is that you need to choose without anything happening right to feel fucking good it's like get up and get happy first and then decide do you want to take a shit do you want to make coffee and that's the whole that's the whole basis of manifestation <laughs> you've got lamb chops is that you she's get, knocking the camera over is that you get to choose that is manifestation right there at its finest is when the shit hits the fan are you choosing your vibration so that you can attract better things. Or just so that you can feel good when the shit's hitting the fan. You can feel good when you hurt your shoulder. You can feel good and make, an, make time of your hour even when you miss the meeting. You can feel good even when you're, you crash your car. You can feel good at your depth because the power within you is so big that the universe is challenging you to come out and be bigger. Yeah! Boom! Hi, Karuna. Hi, Christina. Uh, so, yeah, guys, what do you think about that? So, are, who out there is watching right now? Who's going to choose to... Ah! Oh, it's really hot. Oh, my God. Ah! Choose. Ah, this choose. is good. No. Who out there?
there is going to choose to, to use this Mercury retrograde as an opportunity for growth, and who out there is going to choose to use this Mercury retrograde as an excuse? Say, oh, my life is fucked up, it's because of Mercury retrograde. So or, if, if you don't choose, guess what's going to happen? Next time Mercury, Mercury retrograde comes around, someone's going to choose for you. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So who's gonna choose? We got Katie, she's gonna choose. Who's gonna choose? Sarah says, thanks guys. Yeah, thanks Sarah. Karuna says, pound sign. Uh, Katie says, I feel, I better learn how to starve the loneliness and feed the hunger. Indigo girls. Hmm, interesting. All right, um, so you guys are gonna choose. Oh, okay, Katie chooses growth. Ronan says, I choose, awesome. Christina says, I choose. Great, guys. All right, so we want to know how this Mercury Retrograde goes for you. What does it bring you? Uh, we will, we will, we're looking forward to hearing your responses next week. Um, usually, we're on here on Monday, you guys, every Monday around 10 a.m. Pacific time. So if you know um, someone else who needs to choose, tag them in this video. Yeah, if you know somebody else who's having a hard time with Mercury Retrograde right now, tag them in this video. Um, we'd really love for them to check it out. And, uh, and yeah, join us next week, next Monday. Next Monday. Love um, you guys. 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yep. If you miss these uh, Facebook Lives, you can always go onto our YouTube channel. Just search The Little Volcano and subscribe to us. Yep. Uh, anything else? That's it. Anything else? That's it for today. Oh, if you want to choose in the new year, we're doing a Get Your Shit Together January Challenge. and just Three day online coaching challenge, just like the last one we had that was super successful. We had about 70 awesome. people in it. It was really amazing. Everybody, so got people a, choose it. everybody got a lot out of it, you guys. Oh so. my God. There's one girl, okay, we're dragging it on, but there's one girl named Caroline who was not going to join the challenge, and she said it ended up changing her life. And so if you want to get it on the next challenge, send us a message. Send us a message. It's only $47. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.